Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, thank you for all the helpful comments and tips uh, when I was stuck. You may notice that there's a box here that's... I'm not going to talk about how, you know, dark it is so it's hard to see, and that it kind of blends in here, and it's also in a, in a bad location all the way over here, and that the candles here sort of draw your eyes to the candles instead of the box. I'm not going to talk about any of that. Uh, but I am going to say that this is called a... Uh, Professor Hartridge said that in Voodoo, a small ritual coffin is called a seke, uh, seke maduli. I believe that's how you say it. So, I want to use this. Gabriel slips the signal device into the seke maduli. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm? No, just looking. Now, if they only take the cavern to the ritual. So, I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have things I must do. I see. No problem. I'll just... Leave. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. May the spirits guard you well tonight. And I was given a tip that maybe I should write something on the, uh on the wall so that um, Dr. John knows, you know, to, s to bring it with him. So, uh, the only thing I can think of was either to either use this, but that wouldn't work. Uh, I remember, though, that when I first picked up this brick, you know, you could, uh, it would be like, you know, what you, what you wouldn't want to write on that. Yeah, you, there's no need to write on that. And I, Still don't quite understand this, but apparently... Oh, I need to wait for him to go. Apparently, you write on a brick. I don't understand the, the logic of it, but... See, because I can imagine, you know, you could put, like, paint on it and then use it to scratch something on it, but just use a brick. Yeah, I'm just waiting for this guy to go away. Or else he'll notice you, but... So... I think I'll leave a message of my own. Uh, and this is as far as I went. I went to, you know, check up on this stuff, just to make sure, you know, the tips were correct. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send DJ Conclave to Knight bring and then the name is, let's see, S E, looking for a K. Uh, here's a K. Let's see, I just did an E, so where was the E? Here we go. And then a Y, which I think, yes, okay. Maduli, M, oh, M was harm. An A. Okay. D. Maduli. But do not harm. Then there's an O, a U. Uh, then an L and an E. Clave. Tonight. Uh, okay. Pleased with his message, Gabriel tosses the brick down. Now, now if only DJ writes, uh, reads it in time. So that is great. So now, hopefully this tracker works. So uh, yeah, thanks for thanks a lot for that help. I, it was kind of an interesting puzzle. I knew that I'd have to get, you know, a tracker to uh, to get Dr. John there, but Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the uh, Psyche Maduli uh, makes it to the ritual and that his thing will work. All right, there's a blip. They must be here with the Psyche Maduli. All right, slight little dot right at the top, so we're gonna follow it. 
Um, yeah, it was an interesting puzzle. Damn, mostly and it's okay, I'm not gonna read all that. He feels all turned around. How, why isn't it working? It seems to be working. I'm, it's getting closer. Go this way. Okay, maybe go this way. Uh, he can barely focus on the LED. Let's go this way. Okay, now it's south. Feels so turned around. Well, it's really right here. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna save. Just in case. So, what have we got here? Uh, is that Dr. John? Ooh. You! What Top are you doing here? Topless lady. I was just taking a walk and. No excuses this time, my friend! There's the Veve -ve down here. I think I'm dying, but. <laughs> Oops. I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? Okay. Yeah, I was more pay attention. I was paying more attention to the to the scene than the fact that I was dying. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that every time I die. That's really un. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't want to do that again. Hold on. <laughs> Pretty sure I need an animal mask here. So, this should do it. As a disguise. When in Rome, here goes nothing. Yeah. This place is. Welcome, brother. Oh, there's a little goat over there. Please join. Where is your snake tattoo? That must be a tattoo. Well, I tried this new soap today, and you. I knew it. Uh, hi there, Dr. John. You shall pay for this violation. Uh, snake tattoo. Man, he's pretty strong. Um, I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? And the thing is... I'm just remembering that Grace has art supplies. I could probably paint me a tattoo, so, uh... <sighs> shoot. I'm gonna have to run back over there. <laughs> Oops. Because I did not know that I also needed the snake tattoo, but... Uh... Had a pretty good feeling about animal masks, so let us probably be easier or quicker. All right, here we go. All right, let's try this again. Hey, Grace, I need you to do some painting. Lucy, a uh hall. -huh. The excitement of seeing you is killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what this was for. I was supposed to paint it on me. Will you do me a favor? What? Use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest. Now why on earth would you want me to do that? Um... It could get us closer. It would be a good way for us to get... Mm. Closer. Really? Well, no. No. Come on, Grace. I really need that, that tattoo. Then give me a good reason. It wards off evil. It wards off evil. It's a good luck, Snake. Yeah, well, about that tattoo job, good luck finding someone else to do it. What? I can't tell you, Grace. It's a secret research thing. I see. Well, I'd like to help you, but I'm not allowed to do snake tattoos. It's a secret artist thing. Why are you being such a... Such a lame-o, Grace. I'm going to a party tonight. Costume, you know. You don't say. I guess you're going with Maya. Uh, yeah. That's right. You jelly? And why should I help you out when I don't even like Maya? 
Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. It's perfectly understandable. I know you have certain feelings for me. Quite naturally. <laughs> me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine. <laughs> I'll do it. Just shut up. Can we at least go in the back? Mm. Sure. Nice. But could you say that one more time and pout your lips more? Ugh. Alright, that was a pretty good uh, reading on that line. What did I say? All right, let's go. <laughs> the shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. <laughs> Hold still. Maybe you'd like to tell me out? One more remark, and I'm leaving. Okay, okay. There we go. Done. It's just stunning. Sorry I couldn't make it last longer. Huh? Well, it was about what I expected from you. Huh? Wait, I think those last three lines were kind of not having anything to do with painting. If you will. Okay, hopefully that'll... that'll get me in this time. Okay, so yeah, this was kind of a roundabout ways to, uh... Ooh, things are lagging up bad. And I do not want to know why. Maybe if I get to the next screen it'll fix. It is not. Uh, there shouldn't be any updates right now, but there certainly is. So, um, I'll see you in just a minute. Right. Let's get back into it. I need to put out that tracker so I can f go back to that place. Here we go. Gabriel does the All thing. Right. Now let's... Let's not die this time doing this. Okay, kind of want to go east. Ish. Let's go south. East. So yeah, thanks for all the help. I would have been a lot. Just want to take a lot more uh, more time. Otherwise, it's it's not a bad puzzle though. I just wish the Sekai Model E wasn't so hidden. It didn't have to be that hidden in the shop. Getting close. Here we go. Okay. Let's make a save here. I died. And... Okay, yeah. Gonna put that animal mask back on. When in Rome, here goes nothing. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, mm, Brother Eagle. But first, name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. That would be Dambala. Dambala! You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Who is the destroyer of men? Oh yeah, also, um, I didn't recognize this until uh, I went back to to the lecture, like I didn't realize what Agun Badagri was, but um, he's the Loa for like destruction or something, which I didn't realize until I went back to the uh, listening to the lecture. So this would be Agun Badagri. Agun Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs> Oh, hey. I can't tell- actually, I can't tell if that guy's a woman or a female. This is definitely a female. What do I even care? Oh. Like... 
Wait, a lot of stuff just happened right there. Okay. So I guess that's, um, the Kaloa. Oh, wait. Gabriel... So Gabriel just drank something, and... Okay. Well, don't take off your mask. Oh. So that would be Tetalo? Okay, she drops blood onto the ritual knife. Turns into snakes. Gabriel! Tetalo, Tetalo, come take our ride. Malia? I know you now. I can smell his blood in your face. Huh. No. You cannot change your death. Okay, so she's being no. possessed by the lava. I will fight. I will destroy. No. <laughs> Where is your necklace now, witch hunter? Where are your really, really gems? How did he escape out of that alive? <laughs> uh, day seven. My last ally laid to waste. I ran toward the light. I prayed for one to change my path to give me strength to fight. Gabriel. Gabriel, wake up! Ow, my head! It's about time. I've been trying to wake you for hours. There's no time to lose. I had another dream. It wasn't a dream, believe me. Now come on, get dressed. Well, how Wait does a she, minute. How does she know all this? I'm starting to remember. Something about it Malia. She's the head priestess of the voodoo cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night she was the leopard. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get dressed. But last night, Malia changed. She became someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. How did I get home? I followed you last night. I had my doubts about the Gettys. Did you know that they arrived in New Orleans in 1800? Just in time for the voodoo influx. I knew you were going to try to sneak into a ceremony last night, so... I followed you. Lucky for you that I did. If you'd been left at the circle last night, I don't know what she would have done to you. You're wrong. Malia wouldn't hurt me. What about Tetalo? Tetalo? They were chanting that last night. That's the name from Gunter's journal. The woman who took the talisman. Yeah. Yes. Gabriel, it's your destiny you're facing. You can't just blunder your way through this or you'll end up dead. Tedalo will be after you now. You have to call your great uncle in Germany. Uncle Wolfgang? Sure. Yes. He knows more about this than we do. Okay. I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Grace. It's that spirit. That Loa. It's Tetalo. Yeah. Possession is convenient that way. Call Wolfgang, Gabriel. I'll be in the shop. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was sort of... I, I got the impression that, um... You know, that she, she had all those riches, uh, because of the voodoo that she, she's been doing, though I didn't recognize that, uh, she was a different person. Let's talk to Grace. Grace, about last night, I've already said everything I have to say about that. Talk me out. Yeah. Get out of town. You're so... Alright. Anything to question? Got it. Any messages? Do you have messages for me? Nope. Alright. What about research? Could you do some research? Sure. Or not. I can't... Okay. Let's see. Well, we have the paper. 
Tynes Pickle Uni, dated uh, J June 24th. There's nothing about the voodoo uh, murders case in the t paper today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit about uh, under the life is stranger than fiction common, uh, column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou St. John last night. Various people called the uh, newspaper with stories about hearing strange, vo uh, strange noises and seeing weird lights all over the swamp. Some folks claim that the ghost of Marie Laveau. The paper relates to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Gabriel's horoscope uh, today reads, Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight and when to get the hell out of Dodge. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. Yeah, me too. Uh, so... Well, I'll call him... I'll call Wolfgang in a bit. Clearly that's where I'm supposed to go, but there's also other places I can check out. Um... Close until further notice, yeah. I don't think I want to see Dr. John again. Locked and barred up tight, okay. And she's still gone, so there's not many places for me to go. Let's go to Jackson Square. Okay, this looks unchanged. 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 Uh, Alright. So things are starting to come together. There's, um... There's Malia, who seems to be like, uh... You know, her heritage... Is, uh... Pulling her toward... Also, there was supposed to be a knot hole here or something? I don't see it. May I... Could you give me a blessing? Peace be with you, sir. Thank you. Um, maybe it's the other one. Or maybe I can finally open this, no. Yeah, I don't see it, but... Maybe... I might click around yeah. off-screen to check that out. Alright. I've... No, I've had that before. Sad. Yeah. Alright, well... So Dr. John is not a very good person to hang out with. Malia has a Loa controlling her, and yeah, I, I believe that her uh, her ancestors or whoever are the same people who uh, Gunter was associated with, so... And possibly jo Dr. John, because this happened in the West Indies, and I remember that... Um, I remember that, uh, Dr. John also came from the West Indies. Yeah, they really want me to just <laughs> go to Germany. It's okay, I'm still gonna keep questioning. Um, well, I'm not gonna get very far here. Because he's gonna say, get out of here. You got no b- Sorry. Which is fine. Also, the speed is foobarred again. What's up? Whatever it is, no! Now get out of here! Yeah. So, how about here? How are you doing? Could I have a minute of your time? You got something to say, son? You must enjoy the company of dead folks. Unlike the living, they ain't never given me no reason to dislike them none. Alright, well... This looks unchanged. And this looks unchanged, so... Let's get out. No one answers Grand's front door, but a note is sticking out from the mail slot that bears Gabriel's name. Uh, the note is from Grand and says that sh she's taken a short uh, trip out of Grand, uh, town, out of Grace's advice. Good old Grace. That's actually a good idea. 
Wait, why doesn't Grace get out of town? I mean, all right. Wait, why is Grace still here? Hi. The ex why is Grace still here and she tells Grand to go, but not herself? Um, if I'm going to Germany, I hope that I'm going to be able to take her with me or else uh, I smell kidnapping coming. Alright, well... Let's see, I do have the phone number still, so let's operate. Okay. Four nine oh nine three two four three 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 three. Guten Tag, Sie haben Schloss Rüder erreicht. This is Gabriel Knight. Can I speak to Wolfgang, please? Ja, Herr Knight. Ein Moment, bitte. Gabriel, it's so good to hear your voice. I had such a dream last night. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Gabriel fills in with Wolfgang on the events of the previous evening. Ugh, it is even worse than I thought. You bet it is. We have to talk about what I'm supposed to do. Voodoo. What can you tell me about voodoo? It sounds as though you have learned much during your investigation in New Orleans. Perhaps you will fill me in when we have a chance to sit down and talk. What? Hmm. Right. Voodoo murders. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I know only what you have told me. They seem to be very similar to the killings in Gunther's journal. What? I know only... New Orleans, this isn't gonna... What can you tell me about much. New Orleans? It was just another American city to me, until I started dreaming about you. Weird. Now I feel it is not safe for you there. I wish you would leave. <laughs> what can- I told you, I wish you would- I wish you would leave. Do you know anything about snakes? I have not studied the subject. I have an intense dislike for them. Do you know anything- I have- St. John's Eve. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I'm afraid I've never heard of it. What? I'm af Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Gaulle means? No, what does it mean? It means goat without horns. It's a term used for human sacrifice in Voodoo. Well, let's hope we can avoid any more of that in this family. Do you know... I know only... Alright, uh, Marie Laveau. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? No, I'm afraid not. Do you know... I've heard rumors of a secret hound fool here in New Orleans. Yeah, I am sure they have a temple there, and probably a very elaborate one. You should not go near it, though. Not alone. See, I still imagine it's the, uh, it's the, uh, the Getty, the Getty tomb. Any ideas on where the Getty hound fool in New Orleans might be? No, if I were in New Orleans and could look around, something might look familiar to me. Strike a, a chord, so to speak. But I'm not, so you must use your own judgment. Any idea? No. Alright. Animal masks. Do you know anything about animal masks? Yes. Tetlow's people wear animal masks for their rituals, don't they? It is not at all uncommon. Many occult groups are based heavily on animal totems. Animals have such pure, primal traits. Spirituality, good or bad, is about reaching these pure levels. Aggressive and cunning, like the snake. Agile and nurturing, like the monkey. Even our family is associated with the image of a lion. No, no, no. But... Tell me more. I've already given... All right. Vives. Do you know anything about Veves? It is a visual symbol of one or more lower. Each law has its own sign, which is used to summon it. Do you know anything I've already... Have you ever heard of Dambala? Dambala is a snake. He is a loa, a voodoo god. Yes. He's one of the primary loa of the Gedi tribe. I see. Good work. That information might prove useful. Do you know anything... 
No. Does the name Ogun Badakri mean anything to you? It is a Vudun Loa, is it not? Yes, a particularly nasty one, so I understand. Have you come across anything about it in your research? It seems to be feared by most Vudun groups. I haven't come across very much specific information. All right. Um, seems he's not going to talk about much except for uh, the family. Do you know anything about black voodoo? My library contains many books on the occult and religions, and I have read about some particularly evil voodoo cults. But you, at this point, have more direct experience than I. Yeah, he seems less uh, knowledgeable about the voodoo and more knowledgeable about just bad things. Do you know anything about... I don't... Yeah. What can you tell me about Shatten Jaegers? Yes, of course. I sometimes forget how little you know of the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Heinz could allow his sons to remain ignorant. But now is not the time for that discussion. Schattenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Schatten means shadow, and Jäger means hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes. Shadow hunter. An awesome name. Shadow. Shadow Hunter. Tell me more about Schattenjägers. Uh, we Ritters have been Schattenjägers for many centuries. No one is sure when it began or how, but we have records of ancestors as early as the 13th century fulfilling this role. Some believe that the role was given us when... Ah, but such fantasies cannot be of use to you at the moment, Gabriel. Tell me more about Schattenjägers. Most people are completely blind to the fact that evil does exist. It is out of vogue at the present, but I tell you, shadows of darkness, spirits, vampires, witches, demons, these things are real. So it is to the advantage that the world has become so scientific, so cynical. But we know they exist, Gabriel, and we hunt them. How do we hunt them? And why? Why? Because it is our duty. We are the ones who know, Gabriel. As for how, that is something you will have to learn. But uh, it is not easily explained over the phone. Tell me more. Mm, well, we can talk more about that later, Gabriel. All right. Do you know anything about Radha drums? Radha drums? You mean ceremonial drums? Yes. The Gedi tribe uses drummers around the French Quarter as relay messengers to keep track of their business. Hmm. Those drums have a ceremonial use, too. It would be useful to know their code, Gabriel. Oh, I, I already know. I'll find some information on them. That's my boy. Tell me about yourself. I hope there will be time for that later, Gabriel, after this is all over. For now, we must deal with the matter at hand. Tell me. I hope that... All right. Tetelo. Tell me about Tetelo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary law for the Geddy tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. Yeah, Do you remember in Gunther's Sorry. journal he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's law during the killings in Charleston? This sounds similar, but Tetlow has obviously become a much more powerful lower than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the talisman. Tell me more about Tetelo. I believe she truly loved Gunther. After all, she was raised to be her father's daughter. Their religion was not a choice she made, but a duty she endured. How can she be blamed for that? The spirit she has become, that is a different matter. It is utterly evil. I am certain that the lower Tetela bears little resemblance to the woman Tetela was before the burning in Charleston. Yeah. So Tetela is bad, but is possessing Malia, who, uh, may not be? Tell me more about Tetela. She once was a beautiful and intelligent woman. And she probably did not deserve Gunther's betrayal. But the Tetelo we fight now is more akin to her tribe's dark gods than to anything human in nature. 
Tell me more. She runs for right. Tell Oops. me. Talisman. Let's talk about the talisman. <sighs> I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings. And in my dreams. It was in the family for centuries before Tetlow took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Chatonnieda itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Chatonnieda swore to use the power for good, never for evil. For offense, not offense. Since it fell into Tetlow's hands, I'm afraid to think what the power has been used for, or what it will be used for in the future. With the talisman, Tetlow has all the power and we none. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Then we will at least be on more equal footing. How can we re- We've been searching for the talisman for years, ever since we lost it. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. The talisman is probably buried with Tetlow's remains. That's what gives her lore so much power. All right, I, th I think it's that uh, that golden thing that was in the the dreams. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? The most important thing about the talisman is that it be. Yeah, yeah, we belo it belongs to us, not them. How would we find Tetelo's remains? Ha! We have pondered that question a long time, the Ritters. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe at their current location. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetlow's African homeland, but Gunter says so little in his journal about her tribe, and slaving records are practically non-existent. Also, Tetlow's tribe was utterly destroyed in its African form in the late 17th century. There was nothing like a census in Africa then. As for the other idea, we had no clue as to where Tetlow's people went after fleeing Charleston until now. Uh. How would we find Tetelo's remains again? We must locate the tribe's original African homeland. Her remains might be there, or they might be in New Orleans, buried among her descendants. Let's discuss the possible African homeland. All right. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately oh, yeah, for there him, were, um, there was he a thinks tribe. the tribe's name was yeah, Agri. Agri, and that they lived near the Fon tribe, in what is now called the People's Republic of Benin. That is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Taylo, if you get a chance, you might look into the possibilities that Tetler's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. You will make a fine shot, Jäger, but only if you are not dead. Sure, I'll wait. Bye, then, Gabriel. And remember, if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Goodbye, Uncle Wolfgang. Alright, um... I have to talk a little, but I know I don't know exactly how long this is, but I know it's very, very long this episode. So I will um, see you in the next episode.